It was really a privilege to nominate Dr. Archer for this award. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more than he does. From, first of all, uh, Dr. Archer has a, a national and international reputation in cardiovascular disease research and science. He's been very involved with the American Heart Association at the national level for many years. I was always impressed with Dr. Archer and with his family for that matter. From the moment they arrived in Chicago, Dr. Archer became a very devoted volunteer for the American Heart Association and the Chicago Metro office. He became a member of the Chicago Metro board and then was appointed board president. What really resonated with me was that he really transformed our board into a working board. We were asked to identify a particular area of interest that would benefit the Chicago community. Well, uh, my legacy as I leave Chicago is uh, a number of things, uh, and I'll forget the record coffee drinking and my skill in old timers hockey and uh, focus on the American Heart Association, but I guess my legacy is helping to lead the Mission Lifeline initiative here in Chicago. Uh, a number of years, for a number of years we've tried in Chicago, and by we I mean the EMS directors and many physicians around the city have tried to link the ambulances in a way that gets patients having acute heart attacks called STEMIs to a hospital that has a cath lab ready 24 hours a day, seven days a week to provide the state-of-the-art care. That wasn't the case, and over a three-year period, Gary Shear, the American Heart Association, the EMS directors worked together, pulled together the 37 or so hospitals in Chicago, and we made a plan, and that plan involved having 12 lead EKGs in the ambulance, so you got diagnosed when you called 911, you got diagnosed in the field, so we knew you were having a heart attack. Then we arranged it so you went to the proper hospital and you could have your artery open within 90 minutes uh, and abort a heart attack and prevent it from happening. And uh, in about uh, March or in the spring of, of 2012, it actually became a reality with some help from the NATO conference and Homeland Security funding. Uh, now all the, when you call 911 with chest pain in Chicago, you get taken to the appropriate hospital. Um, when I think about Stephen and his involvement in the American Heart Association. Uh, I see someone who's in his element. He especially loves to work and be part of a team that's really uh, working together for a common goal. So I think American Heart Association provides him with that opportunity. What does the American Heart Association mean to me? What it means professionally is a place where I can refer my patients to get honest information in an era where everything is a a uh, quick answer or a quick fix and often the sources of information are unreliable. Um, for my colleagues, I engage American, them in American Heart for their professional development, so young physicians have found a great home in American Heart and they become linked not just at the University of Chicago but across the city and across the country. So it means many things. Dr. Archer was my cardiologist from 2007 until 2012 and when he returned to Canada and he guided me through a fairly difficult heart surgery where I had a, an aortic aneurysm and a bicuspid aortic valve and I had my valve replaced and part of my aorta replaced and Dr. Archer is one of the main reasons I feel great today. He's very clearly very very intelligent and knowledgeable, a great researcher, very talented. As a professor I'm sure he shares all that knowledge with his students but this is a special person I mean, he goes above and beyond what's needed. Thank you.